and welcome back. In Northwest News, state lawmakers are returning to the Capitol for a special legislative session to try and come up with an agreement on a two-year state budget. A mostly empty Senate was gaveled into order this morning, but most lawmakers weren't expected to return until the afternoon when a special session resolution was to be passed in the House. Budget writers in the House and Senate have met a few times since the regular session adjourned on April 28th. But with no deal reached during their two-week interim, the special legislative session could take its full allotted 30 days, if not longer. Governor Jay Inslee said that even while budget writers keep working toward a deal, he wants lawmakers to address policy issues during the overtime session, including a measure to strengthen the state's impaired driving laws in the wake of recent fatal accidents. Special sessions cost the taxpayers about $10,000 to $18,000 per day. Some big decisions that could help decide the future of Spokane's Fairchild Air Force Base are expected in the coming weeks. The Air Force is expected to decide if Fairchild will serve as a base for the next generation of air refueling tankers. And the Bureau of Indian Affairs is expected to decide soon whether a large Indian casino will be built just a short distance from the base, a development that opponents fear could eventually prompt the Air Force to close Fairchild. Fairchild is the, uh, the Spokane area's single largest employer with 5,800 workers and an economic impact of $1.3 billion per year. The base is also integral to the 17,000 military retirees in the Spokane area. That's going to do it for us here at iFiber One News. We want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow night.